Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial for using WordPress on Bluehost for beginners in 2021. Now before we get into the video, I do have a link in the description where you can check out more details about this and receive special discounts if you're looking to pick up a Bluehost plan yourself. Alright, so let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to have to do obviously is you need a Bluehost account and you need to be logged into your Bluehost account. When you do have both of those things, we can go ahead and get started on this tutorial like we're going to do now. So as you can see, we're on my Bluehost home, the hosting home right here. Now the first thing you want to notice obviously is how simple they make it for you because from here all we have to do is log into WordPress and if you haven't seen it yet there's a button right here that lets us log into WordPress. The first thing you need to make sure is that your website is selected so if you have multiple websites the one you want to customize should be selected on this drop down right here and then we're just going to hit log into WordPress. Now from here it's going to open a new tab and it's just going to kind of load. It's just going to, you know, load up all the features you're going to need and you're going to have. And then once it loads, we're just going to go ahead and explain and walk through all of the different features you're going to have on this WordPress, as well as the custom features you won't have anywhere else that Bluehost offers for WordPress. Now it just pulled up as you can see, so we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing you may notice is that at the top instead of the dashboard, because if you're a WordPress user or if you've used WordPress before, dashboard is usually at the very top but instead there's something that says Bluehost the reason this is is because this is kind of a custom installation of WordPress a custom flashing of WordPress so what this means is essentially WordPress is customized by Bluehost to provide all of their Bluehost specific features now, as you can see, just scrolling down here, it's got a bunch of few options they recommend on how to get started, like customizing your homepage, starting with a page or post, you know, changing the themes and all that stuff, and then finally launching your website. Really user friendly, really easy to walk through. What we're going to do though is we're going to go through one tab at a time, and I'm just going to explain to you what you're going to need these tabs for. So on the theme tab, they do have premium Bluehost themes, custom Bluehost themes, which they offer, which you can buy if you really want to make your website snap. As you can see, there's all these websites, all these different themes, which you can buy, really good prices, and they come with very, very top of the line and the latest fashion, latest design on websites. So that's something you can look at it's the Bluehost themes you can sort by price high to low or price low to high you can sort by other options as well but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the plugins tab as you can see the plugins tab just has extra Bluehost plugins extra plugins which you can use like contact forms and website translation services as you can see there's a bunch of varying prices here if you want to sort by free though if you want to see all the free ones you can go price low to high and here's the free ones here's the cheaper ones so they've got a bunch of options which you can add on top of your Bluehost website, on top of your WordPress settings. So next you're just gonna go to services and from here they've got all their premium services which you can buy. You can think of them as packages which you can buy to extend the feasibility and make it easier to set up your website. Next, moving on to staging. Staging site is essentially a copy of your site where you can actually safely test changes before publishing them to your production site. It's really, really a good thing to have. And the beautiful thing about this is if you create a staging site it's going to keep your WordPress from having any unnecessary downtime which it might have if you don't have this place to test all your themes and plugins and settings so you can create a staging site I would definitely recommend doing that if you're going to be making a lot of changes I cannot tell you how many times I have regretted not having a staging site set up so that is an absolute must and a great feature which Bluehost does offer moving on to our settings tab these are just the settings where the Bluehost settings you know really pop out where you get the custom Bluehost settings and you get to see all the nice things which they've added to your plan just because you bought their hosting you do get access to automatic updates which is really really a good feature to have you can change some comment settings some content settings like you can keep the five latest revisions which is really nice you can enable a coming soon page which is what I have enabled right now and you can change just a bunch of other stuff about caching which is really really nice finally they've just got a help tab so if you need help you just click chat with us and you can talk with a customer service representative of Bluehost now moving on from here the main thing you need to know about customizing your WordPress website 
website is the themes, the customize tab, and then you can just get into your website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to scroll all the way down on this list. We're going to hover over appearances and go ahead and hit themes. Now currently when we hit themes, it's going to load up here. And as you can see, we've got one theme enabled. There are multiple themes you can enable. And if you want, you can always click wordpress.org themes just to search the WordPress themes which are available for your use. But we don't need any themes because I like the one we have enabled right now. What we're going to do from here though is we're going to go ahead and hit this customize tab under the appearance tab. What this is going to let us do is set up pretty much all the appearance and customization options you're going to need for your WordPress website. So we're going to go ahead and hit customize right now and it's going to load up. As you can see, we have our website right here. Very simple, very nice. Um, not very much on it right now because this is, we don't have any content yet and we haven't set it up. What you're going to see here though on the side is all your theme options, all your site identity options, and you can change them up as you want. So under the theme options, you've got, as you can see, a lot of different options. What these are is, and this will vary per theme, you'll have different tabs right here per theme, just depending on which theme you're actually using. But you can go ahead and select theme options, check global. As you can see, it's like, you know, site layout. Do you want to write sidebar? Usually I don't like any sidebars on my website that I design. So I'm just going to select no sidebar then just go through change the side colors like the primary color maybe we want it you know a bit different a bit of a pink color instead secondary color let's say we go with a slightly lighter gray so then anytime you want to save the content and update the changes because you're happy with them you just go ahead and hit this publish icon at the very top next as you can see on the header you've got a few different settings here you can change full width stuff like that contain contain looks better usually so I'm gonna keep it on contained and as you can see the publish icon is blue again which means means if I'm happy with the website, I can go ahead and update it. Also, you can obviously save the draft or schedule it. So if you want to upload it in advance, you can do that just by hitting this little settings icon next to the publish button. Now that's pretty much all you need to know about the customize area. What I would recommend is just going through each and every setting, seeing what they need, seeing what they want from you, and then kind of experimenting around with it to see the visual changes on your website, because there are going to be quite a few visual changes depending on what selection you're doing and which fill you want to go for. Once you've set up all the appearance and once you've customized it all though, what you're probably going to want to do next is add some pages. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to go ahead and hit the pages tab tab on your WordPress dashboard. From here, as you can see right now, we've only got two pages set up, but we're going to go ahead and add a few more. So I'm just going to hit add new page. Now adding WordPress pages is really simple. So as you can see, we're just going to close out of this. This is the block editor. It's an editor for WordPress. And we're going to be using this to build our page. So as you can see right now, we've got a blank page. Let's go ahead and add a title. Let's call this page about, and then let's add some content. Now, when you want to add content, you can either start writing or type to choose block. If you want to choose a block to add, you either hit this plus icon or you hit this plus icon. We're going to hit this one. And then as you can see, you've got a bunch of different blocks, which kind of think of them as building blocks because each block has a slightly different purpose and it can be used to build your WordPress website. So let's say I wanted to add an image. I would just hit image, hit upload, and then I could choose an image which I wanted to use on my WordPress website. As you can see, we've already got a very nice looking image on our about page. Now, once you add all your images, all your text, everything you need to do, like for example, here, I'll just add a paragraph and then I can write text right there. As you can see, my cursor popped up. But once you have all that done, all you're going to have to do, it's really simple, is just hit publish and then hit publish again then your page will essentially be up on your website, at which point you can view your page if you want, or you can just edit it some more. As you can see, here we are on my page. It's very simple, but I didn't really have any information to add, even though you can take as much time as you want on your web page and add as much information as you want. Now, if you want to navigate back to your dashboard from here, you're just going to hover over Bluehost sample and hit dashboard. From here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and add that page to our menu because right now it's not in our menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move our mouse down to appearance. Now we're going to go ahead and select menu from that appearance icon. Now, once the menu loads, as you can see, we've got menu structure. So what we're going to do is right now we've got home about and sample page. If we wanted to add or remove an item to our menu, we could either add or remove them. Let's say I don't want sample page. I'm just going to click this drop down right here and I'm going to go ahead and click remove. Now that I've got my menu, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my menu and this is going to be the first menu which I create. 
Now that it's created, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and as you'll see, there are some new options that appeared on this menu. As you can see, we can choose to let it automatically add new top level pages to the menu and we can also choose the display location. What we're going to do is we're going to select the display location as primary menu and hit save menu once more. Now that we did that, as you can see, there's a change to our website. Our menu is now showing up at the top bar where we can select home or about. If I click on about, obviously, it's going to go to the page which I made. Now, the final thing you need to know is how to add blog posts to your website. You don't add them under pages, contrary to what some people do think. You actually go to posts right here and you just go ahead and select add new. From here, what you can do is you can create your own blog post, create your new blog post, and it will show up on your blog page. You can add a title then all you have to do is click here and start typing and write up your blog post at that point what you're going to do is you're actually going to select post over here on the side from here you've got a bunch of different settings you can change like the featured image which you can set the tags which you can add categories and the permalink which you can change if you like basically this is all the seo stuff you need for your blog once you're done writing your blog post though, all you have to do is hit publish and then hit publish again and it will show up on your blog page. Overall, those are the basic features which you need to know about when you're going into WordPress with Bluehost. It's a really good platform and the extra compatibility which Bluehost offers is really nice as well. Well, thank you for watching. Please do let me know in the comments if you have any questions for me and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I have a link in the description where you can view more details about this or pick up some special discounts. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time and have a great day.